Hello everybody, my name is Mei Lung and today we will go through a series of topics on how to get started with Tableau. For this series, I will be using the desktop version of Tableau and version 9.3. The topics that we will cover in this series will include the following. What is Tableau? Uh, connecting Tableau to its data sources creating visualizations, uh, as well as uh, creating some custom calculated fields and parameters, and finally, how to put together an interactive dashboard. This series is meant for uh, folks who are new to Tableau to understand um, some basic concepts and how to navigate uh, the interface. So let's get started. So very quickly, what is Tableau? Um, Tableau is a data visualization tool which allows you to create uh, interactive dashboards for uh, your business use or personal use. So there are uh, quite a few comparative products. Uh, among them would include a Click, ClickView, uh, typical Spotfire, etc. Uh, as well, if you are uh, using kind of enterprise versions of SAS, there uh, will very likely be a SAS visualization and another very comparative um, tools out there. So for Tableau, um, you can see that there are different types of products being offered. Uh, as I mentioned at the beginning, I will be using Tableau Desktop. However, there is a uh, Tableau public version, which is again free to download and you get one gig of space uh, for you to store uh, some of your data. This is for um, displaying uh, and sharing with the, the, the world. Um, so I would be very careful in terms of the data that you do upload, uh, whether that is something that you want to share or not. So let's just jump right into Tableau itself. So when you open Tableau, um, this is what you should see on your opening screen. It tells you um, your recent uh, files that you were looking on, some of the workbooks that are uh, sampled for you to look at. Uh, there are some resources that you can take a look at. But more importantly, you can start to connect to your data sources. You can connect to a variety of sources, including your flat files, such as Excel or text files, um, but also to uh, servers such as um, your typical uh, Microsoft SQL Server, Oracle, etc. Um, there is a large variety of connections that you can connect Tableau to. Uh, or you can create uh, an ODBC connection uh, if your data source is not uh, in one of those that are listed here. So when you download Tableau, uh, you will notice that in your My Documents, you will have a My Tableau repository. Here you can uh, choose to save uh, your files, but also it comes with a few data sources that you can start with. Um, so what we will work on is the sample superstore file, which is an Excel format. To connect to the data, you can select uh, Excel. It will prompt you to uh, browse for your uh, data set. And what it will return in the uh, connecting to data tab uh, will be the different tabs that are in your Excel file. So you can uh, kind of drag in the, the tab that you would like to upload. Um, this would include uh, and show you all of the uh, fields that are available. So Tableau works in kind of like a tabular format. Your typical um, spreadsheets where the first row is your field names and uh, transactional data that follows. So very good for your structured data. And uh, what you'll notice is um, it will uh, 
kind of try to automatically match what type of data it is. So for the date, uh, you can see these little icons out here. This uh, calendar icon uh, shows that this is a date format. ABC means that it's a text. And number, uh, that is a number. And you can change all of these. So if I wanted to change uh, my row ID to a string, uh, you can click on the little tabs here and it will uh, change the format for you. If we scroll down, you'll also notice um, the globe, which uh, indicates that it's a geospatial field. And you can dictate uh, what it is. So, for example, if the column is a city or a county, state, or province. And you can also create joins as well. Um, so, if you had more than one uh, table and you would like to join them together, it will um, automatically uh, allow you to create an inner join or a left join and uh, which fields to match on. For now, uh, in this demo, we will just uh, exclude this join and we can move forward. A couple of other things to note is that uh, there is a live connection versus an extra connection. Uh, when you are exploring and if it is uh, an Excel data set, if it's not too big, um, the live connection allows you to update the data set and press F5 and it will update the data in Tableau. So it's uh, something very easy to, to start with. There are also other uh, features on this data tab, but we will save that uh, for a more in-depth view of connecting to data sources. So once you've connected to your data, you can move on to your worksheets to start to create visualizations. What you will notice is that Tableau will use the data type to automatically categorize your data into two categories. On your data panel, you'll notice that it is either a dimension or a measure. All of the icons on data types are also available on your left. And so you can still change them um, by left clicking them if necessary. Now, what is the difference between a dimension and a measure? The way I like to think about it is measures are your numerical values that you can plot on an axis. These are um, like your sales, discounts, profit, uh, uh, as well as number of attendees, uh, etc. So you will notice that um, all of these are in the uh, number format. It's a integer or a, a real number, or in, in this case, they call it a number with a decimal. Whereas your dimensions are really the ways that you would like to be able to slice and dice your data. So these are more characteristics and categories uh, of the data itself. So uh, for example, if I wanted to do sales um, by product name, um, the product name itself is a characteristic uh, and the sales number is a measure. So if one of the categorization is not accurate, you can uh, drag it into the uh, appropriate category, or you can right click and change it uh, back to so convert it back to a measure. You will also notice that there are a couple of fields that are automatically generated for you. So for example, um, measure names. Um, this is for you to use when you are using specific um, visualizations where you are using the you would want to select the fields itself as well as measure values if you're using more than one measure the number of records and should there be a geographic role such as um, postal code it will create uh, automatically generated longitude and latitude
Thank you for watching this video and uh, we'll see you in the next one to see how we can create visualizations.